Do you want to take your text in DaVinci Resolve to the next level? Well, today's video, I'm going to show you how to do the typewriter effect in DaVinci Resolve. And it's so simple that any idiot can do it, I promise. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, guys, so we are in DaVinci Resolve. And as you can see, we have our media on our timeline. Next, what we want to do is we want to go over here to titles and drag on a text plus. And if you don't see this little panel right here, what you want to do is go up here and click on effects and then it's going to appear. Okay, so once we have our title, we're going to stretch it a little bit. And now you can see we have some text here. So first thing that we want to do is go ahead and change our text. And then I'm going to change our font here. And then I'm going to go in here to the shading panel. And I'm going to go over to section number three and hit enable just to add a little bit of a drop shadow here. All right. And then I'm going to go over to the layout section. And then over here in layout, you're going to mess with the position. And I'm going to bring it over to the left and I'm going to bring it down so that it's in the corner here. Then you can also mess with the size here. All right. And then we're going to go to text and then we're going to go back down here. And what we want to do here is mess with the right on. So as you can see, if I play this, it's just completely stationary. Nothing's happening. All right. So first thing that you want to do for this is you want to go to the very beginning of wherever you want this effect to begin. And then you're going to go and click this little diamond that says right on. And then what you're going to do is drag this all the way so that you can't see the text anymore. So that it's zero. And then for this effect, I'm going to want about two seconds of right on here. So you're going to go ahead a few seconds and then you're going to drag this little slider all the way to the end so that it's you can see all the text. And then if we go back to the beginning, you can see it writes it on like that. And if you just wanted to have a write on text effect like that, the typewriter effect, then that's all you really need to do. And another cool thing that we can do is we can actually make this reverse write off. So it goes in the opposite order of when we started. So let me show you what I mean. So what we can do is go ahead and I'm going to watch this again. And then after a couple seconds, I want this text to disappear. So you can obviously cut the text plus node. And so it just disappears all at once. But if you want to make it a little bit more fancy, what you can do is set another keyframe here and then go a few seconds ahead again. And then t instead of taking your right on from right to left, we're going to take this from left to right so that it reverses and disappears. OK, so you can see it writes on there. And then it also disappears the opposite way. Pretty cool, right? Then another thing that we can do just to kind of add a little bit more spice is go in to the very end of this effect where the last letter disappears. And then we can drag this right here just so that it kind of fades away as it's writing itself off. And you want to adjust it a little bit to whatever looks good. But I think that looks really cool. So you can see one more time. Here's our effect. And then it writes off like that. So guys, that is how you do the typewriter text effect. If you like this video and you like DaVinci Resolve tutorials, go ahead, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.